Satellite images have revealed that the Anak Krakatau volcano in Indonesia has lost two-thirds of its height since it exploded. More than 400 people were killed when the volcano's crater collapse triggered a devastating tsunami which struck coastal, coastal towns on the islands of Sumatra and Java. More than 150 people are still missing. Jonathan Amos reports. There is little doubt now that the cause of the tsunami was a sudden catastrophic failure of the western flank of Anak Krakatau. Europe's Sentinel and Terrasar radar satellites have been able to pierce the ash and cloud in the area to allow researchers to see what remains of the volcanic cone and make some initial measurements. And the data is sobering. What was once a volcano reaching 340 metres high is now little more than 100 metres tall. Something on the order of 160 million cubic metres of rock and ash have gone, says Indonesia's Centre of Volcanology and Geological Hazard Mitigation. Not all of this would have entered the Sunda Strait in one go, but it certainly explains the volume of seawater that must have been displaced to generate so destructive a set of waves at nearby coasts. Jonathan Amos, BBC News.